Sammy. We are the Soul Brothers. Hey, man. Whoa. So many of you guys have been asking for the damn review. So here it is. It's, How should we start this off, man? I mean, these are these are something else, guys. I'm gonna say, behold the greatest basketball shoe ever made. That's what I'm gonna say. But uh, let's get into it. We're gonna explain why. This is um, the Kobe AD NXT 360. 360 is for the flying it. NXT is for I don't know what NXT is, and AD is for his new line or what, continue, mm -hmm. continuation of his line, I guess, after his retirement. But anyways. Let's get let's get it started right off with traction. So, uh, what is this? It's well, a herringbone type of pattern, I guess. Uh, it, it does have it, it is nubs, kind of. Yeah, it's just like multi-directional nubs that are yeah. pretty deep. Pretty um, deep. And, and this yeah. colorway is the only colorway out, and the only color only, only colorway we've seen. Yes. And it's fully translucent. Yes. Okay, and uh, traction is, um, you know, I just said be all the greatest uh, basketball shoe of all time. But this is not the best traction of all time. Yes, definitely not. But it held its own. It's it's not bad. Um, on yeah. a very clean court, I feel like it would be really really nice. Yeah. You know, bite's actually really good. But dust is actually a pretty big problem. Um, it, it's not a huge problem to where when dust was present, I was slipping out. When yeah. We were slipping out, which it, that was not the case. That would be very dangerous, and I we really don't like that. But when dust was present, bite was not very good. And then uh, if you guys can see from like the really close close up shot, the mac macro shot, uh, even when dust is present and you're wiping with your hand like this, um, dust is still you know it's still stuck there. You know it's really hard to like remove it. Uh, and once you really, really remove it, then you have a few really good stops, but then dust gets stuck on it really quickly again. So, I mean... Um, yeah, it just sticks really hard to the rubber. Yes. And it's just really annoying to wipe. You know, like we said, we're not slipping out. Um, it's a pretty silent traction. Uh, not a lot of squeak, but if you get a heavy wipe on, you can get a nice squeak and a really nice bite for yes. a little bit. Yeah, and outdoor use is not recommended. No. It's very, very soft. On the, on the, on the toe and on the heel... I've had some nubs like come off, and I only use it indoors, so yeah. outdoor use is not recommended. But overall, I wasn't mad at the, tra uh, the traction. It's not the best no. traction, but I will have to wait and see with the solid rubber. That's what happened with the Kobe 11s. The translucent was really bad on dust, but solid rubber was really, really good. So yeah. I feel like this wasn't bad though. No, it wasn't. It wasn't, it wasn't bad. bad. It, it, it held its own, and it, it did its thing, and it was, it was definitely good enough. Yes. Let's move on to the cushion slash midsole. Oh my god! All right, let uh, me take this out. Let me. This is this is beautiful, guys. So for those of you who know, we love a drop in midsole. A drop in midsole, of course. Uh, there's no midsole. Uh, there's no outer midsole that the upper is stitched onto. You drop it literally into the shoe, and you can take it out like an insole. For those of you who don't know, um, they've had different versions of this over the years. You know, uh, just straight lunar lawn, straight phylon. Zoom unit in the heel, full length zoom unit, you know, a lot of different iterations. This is the first one ever with React Cushion, which we love. Yes. Um, in, implement it into the drop in midsole. Yes. Um, it's not 100% React. Um, as you can see here, it's uh, React in the center, and on the outer perimeter, it's Lunar Lawn. And it's amazing. Amazing. So, amazing. the React right underneath your foot, there is no struggle board. Um, it feels very different from like the Epic React and the uh, Vapor Street, which I have, and it's all full React. Um, it's a really different sensation on your foot because your foot is just right on top of that React. And it's bouncy, like yeah. pretty damn bouncy, but it's not too crazy, but it's a really nice slight bounce. I, I would have to say it feels like a full length zoom. Yeah. Um, but like even better than that. Yeah, like a quicker, quicker bounce. Yeah, but it's there's, right underneath your Yeah, foot. there's no yeah. lag in the shoe. So exactly. it, you still get 100% response. Exactly. Right? You still get a ton of impact protection and you get a nice little quick bounce that helps you feel even lighter on your feet. And it's very good court feel too. You feel very super good court low feel. to the ground. It's just, it's the best cushion setup I've ever felt. You've ever felt? Ever. Ever. It's, and uh, we say cushion is not super important to us to make a very, very good uh, basketball shoe. But if the cushion is nice, it's a really nice cherry on top. And that's what completes the, you know, uh, very, very good basketball shoe for us. You yeah, know they saying? nailed it. It's not too much. It's not too little. It's not too heavy. It's not, you're not too high up. You're not too low. It's, 
They just nailed it. Yes. Uh, amazing. It's amazing. 10 so, out of 10. 10 out of 10. Best uh, cushion setup we've ever felt. Ever. And that's saying something because we've tried a lot. Zoom, full length zoom uh, underneath that. we have. I have that yeah. in the Kobe 11. So uh, This is going to be a long review. Yes. Um, because I want to say, uh, we, you know, we, we were playing a few nights. A few nights ago, two nights in a row, we played oh, like three hours straight yes. each night. Straight. We didn't <clears> stop because we kept winning. Uh, oh, no, shit. but we kept we keep going. You know, we just go. Okay, run it back, run it back. Yeah. And my feet were just fresh, man. My legs were fresh. Normally, out, you know, after the second hour, my 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 legs would start to feel tired. My feet, and the next day, I'd feel it. I mean, it, it just wasn't the case with these. Exactly. Super so, dope. Um, now moving on to the uh, the upper <clears throat> the materials, which is the three sixty flyknit. And um, as you guys can see from this clip, or you guys can just see it here, it's just, it's it's incredible. It's very, very thin also. You guys can see how thin it is. And um, ventilation is very good. Super thin materials, which is very good for, uh, you know, having it uh, feel minimal. You don't want a super bulky shoe. And uh, it's also very supportive. It doesn't stretch at all, really, but it's also super soft and pliable. Um, and the materials were, I'm not mad at I thought it was going to be a little, like, cheap, Too flimsy, flimsy yeah. feeling, but I didn't have that problem at all because, um, the, they actually did the mids, drop and midsole very well where it, it comes up a lot, yeah. here on this lateral side especially, um, so that it contains your foot really well in, inside the footbed, um, and, yeah. Yeah, it, it, it's awesome, it's, it's, uh, the most minimal upper I've ever felt. Yes. Um and it's really not even too close maybe some other kobe's have gone there but it's so minimal it feels like a second skin on your foot the materials themselves look almost a little cheap when you look up because it's like kind of plasticky looks a little flimsy but they just they just do the job and then there's so many different aspects of the of, of the upper that make it even better which we'll get into in a, in a few other categories but yes. just straight up materials very uh, nice incredible um moving on to fit they do run long, so yes. uh, go down half a size. Uh, Donnie Boy went uh, full size down, and even when I did go down half a size, I felt a little bit of space. So I, just to be safe, go uh, definitely go down half a size. Definitely. But if you want a really really snug fit, I feel like full size down should be uh, pretty good. But if you're only if you're a narrow footer, yeah. If you have I a narrow say. foot, you might be able to get away get away with. I have a super narrow yes. foot. Might be able to get away with uh, full size down. Yes, uh, width wise, I would say it's pretty narrow. Yeah. So watch out if you're a wide footer and there's really no uh, dead space in the toe or anything. It just, it's, it fits really, really well onto your foot, uh, onto best, my foot. So. Best fitting shoe I've ever worn. Fits like a glove. Feels like I'm wearing a sock, but with crazy support. Yes. Um, obviously that's very subjective. It's my foot. Everyone has a different foot. But man, it, it just is amazing. molds to your foot. Amazing, amazing. So, um, very good fit. Moving on to support and lockdown, no issues at all. Um, uh, my foot wasn't going out of the footbed at all no. during, during lateral movements or anything. It, my foot was contained. Even, you know, even when the, the material is this thin right here. Yeah. Um, so it has to do with the rubber coming up a little bit and, you know, this um, drop in midsole having a little bit of uh, cushion coming up. Um, lockdown also is very good. Very you know, good. No heel slippage or anything. Um, and also the a little uh, pattern or what, whatever design that's on the uh, drop in midsole also contains your foot because there's a little bit of uh, lines here to contain your foot in a little bit uh, better in place. And it's like a very good grippy texture exactly. for a sock. It, it kind of goes really well, you know, with the sock. And you know, playing two days in a row, three hours, both nights nonstop, I usually will get a blister. A new blister somewhere on you know the ball of my foot on my toe one of my toes i didn't have any blisters and that lets you know that uh well among, among other things it's very ventilated uh, not a lot of sweat but also um the lockdown is very very good there's not an excess amount of friction yes so that was awesome too yes yeah, so uh lockdown support are very very good um you feel low to the ground also so you're not really like uh rolling your ankle or anything so uh very very good uh moving on to weight um, it feels to me like the lightest shoe I've ever worn, but it's it not. Not, but we'll, we'll get into that in another video. Yeah. But let, let's let's weigh this. Yeah, straight up. These are these are Sammy's shoes, um, and Sammy light for Sammy is like twelve. Yes. Like Eleven. Twelve ounces. Eleven yeah. ounces. Ten point two six. Ten point two six. That's pretty damn light. Without without the the midsole, let's see how it is. Like six, six point nine one. 
So the midsole is obviously like four point something. Three point four two. Yeah. So very very light. Extremely light. Does it feel light? Yes. It's the, one of the most minimal shoes that I've ever felt. Um, very responsive too, and just yeah, it feels very great. Yeah. Ventilation, the most ventilated shoe I've ever worn. <laughs> A basketball shoe. Uh, but, but it's still, up there with even casual shoes. Exactly, because you see all these freaking holes. I mean, it's like a screen, dude. There's, there's it's no crazy. It's crazy. Crazy. So uh, amazing aspect. Also, it's, yes. ventilation isn't super important for a performance basketball shoe, but it is like a cherry on top. Definitely doesn't uh, hurt. Exactly. And uh, moving on to durability, um, I didn't have any issues. I didn't have any issues either. I want to say that it doesn't feel like the most durable shoe ever. It definitely isn't going to be, I don't think. But, but I mean, we, we, there's no telltale signs at all, and we've, I've been going ham in these. Besides the uh, outsole, kind of also, like the nubs coming off, but like on the yeah. main areas where you really need it, like in, on the ball of your feet, we don't have any problems. So um, I have some concerns where like the upper is yeah. uh, molded it to the upper. That a little bit or something, right? But it's not doing anything right now. But like, I, we'll give you an update for sure. Yeah, but I feel like it's not going to be super duper durable, yeah. but it, it's going to hold its own, I feel like. Um, also, another thing is, uh, I don't know if it's just me. Maybe the cushion bottomed out just a little bit. Um, I don't know, or maybe I just got used to it. Um, but did you feel anything like that? No. I don't yeah, know, it's, we'll, it's we'll hard. have to see. But React in my other shoes, like in the Epic React and my uh, Vapor Streets, have been holding up. Uh, but in my Vapor Flies, uh, the Lunar Line does bottom out pretty damn quickly. Mm -hmm. And also in the Kobe 11s and stuff like that. So um, just wanted to put that out there. Um, but, anyways, moving on to aesthetics. These are the sexy time, also. I love these, man. These are dope ass colorway, too. Uh, Same colorway. Can't wait for more colorways to Definitely. come out. So. And he said he's an idea pair. 100%. Triple black? Triple black. Oh my god. So, it's all a black outsole. So for 200 bucks, is it worth it? Hell yes. yes. Um, they, they definitely kill us with the price though. $200 is a lot of money. But, but they charge 200 for the NXTs. But like, right? and, these and are those were like, those. Yeah. Uh, these are like, Insane. these are the truth yeah. right here. Um, there's no other shoe I really want to play in as much as this. Same as me. Like, I um, just, they, it, they did everything just so great here and uh besides the traction but i uh, that the traction wasn't horrible or even bad it was actually pretty good mm -hmm. um i just wish it was like top tier and if it was top tier then it'd be the best basketball shoe. i mean it still it kind of is the best basketball i shoe still think I it think, is yeah. even with not having the best traction exactly. which you would think would completely kill the deal because traction is usually just number one exactly but it's enough and the other things are so incredible it kind of o overpowers that now once the solid rubber comes out and we could try that out, hopefully that'll be even better. But these are insane. Um, go ahead and cop if you can. Dude. Yeah, just go ahead and, and grab these. Exactly. Um, but anyways, hope we helped you guys out. That's the review. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you guys next one. Later.